Hey, this is Dave from Retired Time Productions, and if you want to find out how to attach 3D text to the ground using Magic's Movie Edit Pro, just stay tuned, because we're going to get into motion tracking. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. So this video is inspired by the ADK Flyer 10, who asked me about attaching some 3D text to the ground. So let's get started. First of all, we need to have an open project. This is a new, basically a new project. And then you have to go to the timeline view right here, or timeline mode. Click on that, open the timeline, and we need at least two tracks showing. That's what we're going to be utilizing is two tracks. I might move this up just a little bit. So I got two tracks showing. There we go. All right, let's bring in a video object. So I'm going to start with a little clip that came from my DJI Mavic Pro. It just has a little aerial view looking above. And let's see, I'm going to adjust to be the same as the video clips. So here it is right here, and I'll just run through it. And you can see it's just the gimbal from the Mavic tilting up, looking at the ground first and then tilting up. And we want to put some text on that. So I'm going to go ahead and move this to the beginning of the video, just sliding it over, no big deal. And now I'm going to reduce it down just a little. There we go. All right, let's start by bringing in some 3D text. We'll go to Title, Title first, and then go to 3D Templates right here, and then Static. And I looked around on here, and I think the one that will probably work the best is this one because it has the same perspective as the video looking from above. So I'll put that in. And it just tells me that you can double click the title if you want to change the text. That's just a, a helpful comment. And then we'll line this up to the end of this video like that. And there's our text. Right now, when the video moves, the text does not move. We want to get them synchronized together. So what we'll do is right-click on the 3D text object, and then go to Attach to Picture Position and Video. So we'll just click on that. You have to hit Continue twice here. And then what you do is you find a high contrast area in the video. So I'm going to start out by just trying this little launch pad right here. This is my quad launch pad. So I'll draw the marquee around that. And when I let go, it'll begin making keyframes. And you can see the progress bar going across the bottom here as it's making those keyframes. But unfortunately, the pad went off screen, and now the box went floating off into nowhere. So that was a complete failure, and it didn't work. Okay, so now let's try it again. We'll go right click, same selection, attach to picture position and video. Hit continue twice. This time, let's try this tree up here because this didn't move off frame. It stayed in frame the whole time. I'm just going to draw a box around that. Let go. And we'll do it again. So down here you can see it's calculating object tracking. So it's making keyframes is what it's doing. Keyframes to move the object along with the video. Now the box should stay on the tree the whole time. If it does that, we'll be in pretty good shape. Looking good so far. Okay, so I think that was a success. Okay, so now that it's done, we want to size and position our object. I didn't do that first because sometimes if you try to size and position the object, it will fail. But I think we can go ahead and rename the text. So let's go ahead and double click it. And I'll just put in Mavic. I've heard that uh, the ADK Flyer 10 has a Mavic. It might be a big secret, but I think he has one, so we might enjoy that title. Okay, now that we've got the title renamed, let's go ahead and size it. So I'm going to go to Effects, 
and then we just go to view animation size and position and we want to make this text quite a bit smaller let's just go say half that size maybe a little bit more about like that and then we'll position it let's just put it up here on the grass maybe like that that looks pretty good okay now if we do a test run by playing it we can see what happens and you'll see the video moving and the text moving along with it now it is a little jerky because my computer preview is a little jerky but when we export it it'll be all right okay so let's go ahead and export it we've got our end marker I mean our end markers over here at the end of the video and our start markers at the beginning so let's just go ahead and export it so file export movie and I think I'm just going to use the magics format instead of mpeg4 like I usually do because I just want to save this as a single object that I can use later so I'll go ahead and pick magics video let's make it 720p just to speed things up a little bit and then I'll go ahead and uh, change the title not the title but the name of the file let's call it Mavic and I'll just look to see where it's going it's going in my movie folder so I know where it's going alright and we got export selected range only so just the range that the markers are on that I showed you beginning and end marker alright let's go ahead and export it so this is just going to take a little bit and I'll speed it up with the magics of magics okay now that it's finished up let's go ahead and go in the movie folder and see if we can find it and there it is right there I'm just going to drag that over into my project folder I'm going to move it in there okay so there it is in my project folder let's go ahead and drag it onto the timeline I'm not going to adjust the project this time all right let's just go ahead and play it and see how it works it'll be smoother this time because it's already exported so there is the text moving along with the ground and that's the basic idea okay so now let's go ahead and bring in another clip and I want to show you another way we can use motion tracking so let's go ahead and bring in this little clip here and this again came from my Mavic but I was actually tracking a Wakara quadcopter so if we look at this clip you can see it's very small it's right in this area moving across the screen but that's a Wakara quadcopter so let's say we wanted to attach some text to that and we can do it the same way so let's go back to title grab us some text I'll just use whatever comes up here let's see what have we got oh how about some comic wood everybody needs some comic wood okay so comic wood is kinda long better drag that back in make it the same length as the video there we go now we can move across and see the quad so let's attach it to the quad so the way we do that is same as before right click on the object then attach to picture position and video hit continue twice and then very carefully draw a little marquee around the quad and hope it follows it okay I can see the box following it along now remember the quad cannot fly off screen so we have to use a clip where it stops before the claw okay so it stopped at the right point right there now let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and size our text right here in fact we might want to change the change it first let's go ahead and uh, double click it and we'll just QRX 350 there we go hit the check mark 
All right, so we changed it. Now let's go ahead and go back to where we can size and position it. So we're in view animation size and position. We've got it highlighted as far as that goes. Let's go ahead and make it much smaller. Very small, like that. And then we'll just put it next to the quad. We'll test it to see how it works. And you can see it's moving along. It's obviously jerky because of my playback, but when we export it, it should be all right. All right, let's put the uh, start marker at the beginning of the clip here. We already got the end marker. Let's go ahead and export it. So at, I'll, again, I'm going to use Magic's video format just so I can save it as an object. We already got 720p. Let's go ahead and change the name of the file. So it's going to be QRX350. And then we'll go. Shouldn't take too long because this is such a short clip. So I won't use any magics to make it go quicker. I'll just let you see it real time. And now it's done. It should be in my movie folder. There it is. I'm going to move it over and drag it in my project folder. I already had one in there. Haha. Uh -huh. So anyway, it's in there. Now let's move it back on the timeline. This is the Magix video format. Don't adjust. Now let's play it and it shouldn't be so jerky now. There we go. And you can see that text following the quadcopter. So that's basically all there is to it. If you've got any questions, you can just leave them under the video as usual. I've tried to be as thorough as I could, but there's always questions, so don't be afraid to ask. And thank you for watching. Take care, bye.